Live, this is one for the record. I'm Diana, and today is May 28th, 2012. It is Monday, Memorial Day, and here is your update for today. Let's go with Earth Changes. Sot.net. Fukushima radiation found in West Coast tuna. Heads up, don't eat the tuna now. Tuna after low levels of radioactive cesium from Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident turned up in fish caught off California in 2011. Researchers reported Monday. Well, we're in 2012 right now. Okay, so people have been eating radioactive tuna, I'm going to assume then. Heads up. That's it. Better check your pet food also. Better start getting one of those uh, Geiger counter uh, inspector radiation uh, detectors. Check your pet food. Imagine that. Turned up in 2011. Why are we, why are we being reported with it now in m almost halfway through 2012? Imagine that. Chem Good going, Food Drug Administration, FDA. Good going, EPA. Someone dropped the ball, didn't they? Chemicals in tsunami debris could pose coastal threat. Oh, chemicals, radiation, everything, I would assume. 6.7 magnitude earthquake, Santiago del Estero, Argentina. Tornadoes cause heavy property damage near Montreal. That's yesterday now. Okay, that's it for SOT.net. Not a lot of news lately on SOT.net. Let's take that off. Okay, let's go to the Watchers. Watching the world. Okay. Burl has moved over the interior of southeastern U.S. Mass arrests over 700 Canadian protesters detained in police crackdown. And they were, and the 700 students were arrested because they were rallying against tuition fee hikes. and the adoption of controversial bill that is widely seen as a tool to limit freedom of speech. This was uh, in Quebec City. Australians prepare for rollout of full body scanners in July 2012. Fear they pose a threat to DNA. 6.7 magnitude earthquake uh, deep struck Santiago del Estero, Argentina. Long duration C class event generated minor S1 radiation storm on Earth and hurled CME towards Mars. else here 
nothing else for today because it's a holiday. Remember, when you, you go tomorrow, it's Tuesday. Don't get mixed up. The week is starting on a Tuesday. Let's go and see what the count is on the 2012 clock. Okay, December 21st, 2012, official countdown clock. Let's go to that. Oh, my stomach's growling. We have only 206 days, 8 hours, 48 minutes, and 4 seconds as of right now. Heads up, only 206 days left. Alrighty, let's go to the Extinction Protocol 2012. What am I hearing next? Is that your Tommy? There's Tommy makes weird noises. Wow. Okay, Extinction Protocol 2012. We want Civil War Anarchist Group vows to spread mayhem throughout UK. That's in London. Newly discovered asteroid uh, 2012 KP24 to pass between Earth and Moon. Heads up. Michigan wildfire torches 100 buildings, only 51% contained. Landslide from heavy rains kills 8 in Indonesia. More financial tremors. Spain's borrowing cost hits new high, record highs. Again, about the deep 6.7 magnitude earthquake strikes northern Argentina. And that's it for today. Let's go to uh, the E and E news, energy news. Let's go to Fukushima first. New York Times: Fukushima Daiichi pushed Japan to brink of evacuating metropolitan Tokyo's 30 million residents and. National collapse, says former prime minister. And here, uh, a couple days ago, New York Times was back and that nothing's going on over there. And things just seem worse because it's, it's being uh, talked about on the Internet. The real news is on the Internet. Japan's ex-prime minister testifies, I feared radioactive releases many hundreds of times at Chernobyl. Tokyo Shimbun reporter, the water looked too stagnant to see the fuel rods seven meters beneath. Asahi... High radiation levels at reactors preventing TEPCO from even preparing for start of decommissioning work. Many uncertainties could easily derail timetable. Tokyo Reporter, Unit 4 like a battlefield after being bombed. Questions TEPCO's promise that it will be okay during big 
Tip, go to remove fresh fuel from number four pool this summer, hoping to determine how damaged unused assemblies are. Fuel Mary, reporter. Fuel rods were not visible when looking under sheet covering unit four pool. And that's it for today. Yesterday's, though, was Fukushima Daiichi Worker. I think all reactors will be in crisis after major aftershocks. We don't have enough people. Settle down, number four, fuel pool, and other reactors. You know, if they don't decommission them, then they all still have their jobs, too. That's another thought to think about. <laughs> they just keep it there. They all keep their jobs, I guess, going. Let's see. Okay. U.S. Scientists. Absolutely every one of bluefin tunas tested from Southern California was contaminated with Fukushima radiation. We were definitely surprised to see it at all, and even more surprised to see it in every one we measured. And when did you measure that? Let's see when that was. Let me go into this article for a minute. Yes, let's go in there. Seems to me... It was from 2011, and we're, let's see, is there anything else in here? Let's see when we can find out when they would test it. Let's see. See, and it had cesium-134 and 137. That's the uh, marker that it came from Fukushima. Okay, they're reporting it now. Oh! Let's see. It did say, though, it was in 2011. Remember what I read off to you? That the testing was done in 2011? And we're reporting it now. Good going. What is this? Daniel Magnan at Stanford University. Uh-huh. Let's go back. CNN, all 15 bluefin tuna samples off California had Fukushima radiation back in August 2011. This year's fish are going to be really interesting, says Stanford scientists. Really, but in the meanwhile, everybody is uh, eating it, right? Is everyone eating it? Better not eat tuna anymore. I, that's it. Don't eat tuna. Embargo to tuna. They're not. They're testing it back in August of a, of a, more than a year ago. Hasn't even. It's even more than a year ago. We're not even. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's August of 2011. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like nine months ago. Oh, they're testing it. They're still fishing it, right? Are they still bringing it to shore? Why didn't we hear about that back in August? How, how long does it take to test the samples? Why is it coming out now? Why is it coming out now? Okay, start getting your uh, uh, class action suits ready and going. That's all I got to say. 
up and running. It's class action suit time. Hopefully you saved all your receipts for your tuna fish. Fukushima contamination carried to shores of U.S. Radioactive tuna caught off San Diego coast. We were frankly kind of startled, says so scientists. But guess what? If all of this is from back in 2011, guess what? They've, they've known, they've known all this time. Just so you know, heads up. That's it. Makes me sick. You're going to report on it now? See, this is your worthless uh, media thinking they're doing something good by reporting it now. Worthless media, CNN. New York Times, you're going to, instead of being an investigative reporter, finding out right away and actually getting someone to grab samples and finding out, instead you're going to wait until most of the people have consumed all of last year's tuna, right? Ridiculous. Almost time for a rant. But do I really need to rant? Rant, rant. Do I really need to? You're going to, CNN's going to report it now. The scientists are going to, Stanford, they're going to report it now. They're reporting it now. Nine months into the game of no, back when they tested it, nine months back into it. Worthless scientists, worthless media. They're all discredited. We're going to have to have a new way of uh, certifying scientists and, uh, and actual people that are eligible to uh, report the, uh, the, the news. Also, what, the EPA? Huh, EPA? Environmental protection, right? Sure. EPA, who's the other one? So, oh, FDA, Food and Drug Administration, all discredited now. Thumbs down. There you go. You want to go with it like it's the old Rome Club? Thumbs down to all of you. Okay, see, you're going to have to, uh, you guys are, I don't know, all dumbed down, huh? Too much fluoride? Too much fluoride? Are y'all getting on Alzheimer's? Didn't know what time of day it was to report all this? Okay, that makes me sick. Another thing I'm going to mention. That's a very important idea and theory of mine. <sighs> Back with the concentration camps or FEMA camps or whatever. People are scared of those. You know what I think? This is just a Diana theory. Just one day it came to me. You know how in the concentration camps they had people lining up to go take a shower? Take your shoes off, go in the showers in the concentration camps and, and get gassed to death? That's what they did. People waiting to go take a shower. Went in there and... What does that seem like? It's the same thing, isn't it? Waiting in line over at the airport to go get your uh, x-ray? Seems like there's something wrong with it. Something wrong with that, that they're forcing it all over the people. And they make you line up and go put your hands on your head, your side. Is it really? I don't think it's for terrorists. I think it's another, another form, just like what they did in the concentration camps. You think you're getting one thing. They're actually giving you a lethal dose of something else. What do you think? That's just my scientific evaluation of it all. It's my opinion. Alrighty then. Say I'm wrong. Say I'm wrong. That's what, it, that's what it's mocking. It's mocking the same procedures that they did at the concentration camps back in World War II. Back in Germany, Auschwitz, or whatever, all those places. There you go, line up, take shoes off. Uh, there you go, line up, march in. 
Oh, there you go. Line up. They don't need those camps for anything. They're lining up everybody through the... That's like a side tracker thing. That's like you're worried about the camps, right? Worried about the camps. But what if it doesn't matter about the camps? Because as long as they can get you to go through that, that uh, x-ray machine, they know you're going to be dead in so much time. And they're just irradiating you. That's just my thought. How many pregnant women go through that and don't even know they're pregnant? How's that one with the scanners? You don't know you're pregnant? You go go ahead, go take a trip, and you get blasted with that radiation? Here, here's the heads up that there's something wrong with it. If you go to the dentist, don't they have to put the lead pad, the lead shield on you just for x-raying just a tooth? I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you like in layman's terms. If you go to the dentist, they first ask if you're pregnant, then you're not getting an x-ray at all. That's number one. Number two, they put a lead shielding over your, your chest and the lower half of your body, right? They don't do that when you go through the scanner at the airport. And they're doing your whole body, not just your tooth. They worry about your whole body. Heads up, TSA. Do you understand when people go to the dentist and they're just aiming it at the tooth? They cover the whole body. You guys are standing right next to the machines. They go to the dentist or you go to the hospital. They'll leave the, or a chiropractor's office. They leave the room and go behind a shield. Are you guys doing that? I don't think so. Heads up, please. I just want everyone to be safe now. And okay, it's one day down. Even though it's a holiday, today is Monday. One day down, four to go before the uh, weekend. You, it's going to be a short week this week, so enjoy it. Don't work too hard, and I'll see you again tomorrow.